EPRI's Nuclear Maintenance Application Center is working every day to deliver proven practical techniques and methods to reduce maintenance costs and improve equipment reliability at nuclear power plants. One challenge plants face is providing maintenance workers with effective training at a reasonable cost, particularly for large equipment and infrequently performed maintenance tasks. Virtual reality training has the potential to improve worker proficiency and thus reduce rework and maintenance-induced errors while reducing the overall cost of plant maintenance programs. Within Dominion, I work to deploy the virtual reality equipment in my fleet and instruct our technical training staff on how to use the tool. Virtual reality is a safer, easier, cost-effective, and more engaging way to teach and learn versus traditional hands-on training. In a VR application, the user wears a headset that immerses him or her in a virtual environment. The user has two handheld controllers to manipulate the various parts. It really puts you in the place that's hard to imagine for people who did it on vellum paper and with slide rules. So it, it's, it's amazing. With virtual reality, the training experience is more realistic and lifelike than classroom or computer-based training and trainees get a better appreciation for the true size of the components and the time required to disassemble and reassemble. This maximizes the user experience, increases the level of interest of the trainees, and improves worker proficiency. There's no need to purchase and maintain spare plant components, and it's easier to set up and administer than hands-on training. With the virtual reality, you can actually see the depth and breadth and magnitude of it much clearer. You can zoom in and zoom out so it gets you as, as close as you want to get or far away as you need to get or down to the minute screws to the large turbine casings. It can be applied to a host of applications, equipment, and scenarios, but it is most beneficial for reducing personnel dose, unavailability time, and wear and tear on expensive components. Another benefit is you can conduct training anytime. Carry turbines are used in nuclear power plants to drive emergency cooling pumps, which inject water into the reactor when normal cooling water isn't available. So turbine maintenance is critical to ensure they will operate when needed. Hands-on carry turbine training is costly and time-consuming. The turbines are overhauled infrequently, so there are few opportunities to disassemble, inspect, and reassemble the turbines in the field. And as more experienced maintenance workers retire or leave the industry, their knowledge and experience leaves with them. The Terry Turbine Virtual Reality application provides training in the disassembly, inspection, and reassembly of Terry Turbines used in nuclear power plants. There are four different modes. In freehand mode, the user can remove parts from the turbine in any order. In show me mode, the program demonstrates disassembly and reassembly of the turbine. In practice mode, the program describes each step and highlights the key parts, but the user performs the steps. In test mode, the user performs the steps with no help from the program other than a text description of each step. What you're going to see on the TV screen or in the virtual reality is what you're going to see in the plant. The initial response from our team has been overwhelmingly positive and we have begun to receive several next up project ideas. Dominion Energy has equipped all three of our nuclear stations with the required equipment to use VR technology as a training tool. We've demonstrated the Terry Turbine VR application as some of our hands-on training courses, and the feedback was very positive. Our members are already purchasing the hardware required to use the VR application and are asking us what components we're going to be working on next. Our vision for VR applications is that the Terry Turbine will be one of many components in a virtual showroom. It can be used for just-in-time training prior to performing maintenance, as part of the maintenance qualification process or to improve proficiency of maintenance workers.